not that hot, ban. Take a second off and reconsider your false beliefs. Let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Let's do better. As a community, we have to do better. Abby's fine. She's our problematic faith. She's not even problematic. She's right. Mothers should prioritize their babies. This is such a funny take. It's like, who the f*** thinks the opposite of this? Like, where are the mothers that are like, f*** my child. I hate my baby. That's classically Abby. That's right. <laughs> Women need to fulfill their potential. What? No! Woke left destroyed, dude. Babies need to wait. That one fat went too fast. Babies need to their mothers to thrive. It's not feminist to tell women to postpone their dreams. Who said I was a feminist? What? Bro, she's not hot because she literally has Ben Shapiro's face. Okay, counter. Counter argument. That's what makes her hot. Fem Shabibo. People will unironically say this and then fucking Stan Brett Cooper. I don't want to hear it. She does not look like Ben. She's her own woman. Thank you. You're right. No, that's it. Many of you love Brett Cooper, who also is another Ben Shapiro. Uh, <laughs> I can't even say his name right now. Ben Shapiro female variant. Classically, Abby and Brett Cooper are Two different Ben Shapiro female variants that were cloned in a lab. I love her. She's one of the least charismatic public figures that ever live. I can't think of anyone less suited to be an influencer. I think if you randomly selected one of the elderly mass murderers in the act of killing, they'd probably do a better job. I can't even read the text without pausing. She's amazing. She somehow did lefty meme thing, but with a TikTok trend, she retrofitted about being an epic-based wife. Uh, another another Felix Biederman take. This podcast really comes alive when Bill has any woman that he's even somewhat horny for on. His demeanor turns into this combination of an eighth grader who's nervous and a guy who just killed someone and is trying to... It doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter because everybody's switching their sexes constantly. No, I'm not kidding. I mean, I'm kidding about that, but people do switch sexes a lot more than they used to. You know, I always see that in the paper about somebody who is switch their sex which i'm all if that's what makes you yes. that's that what blows your dress bad up? bitches all the way Who? yes bad bitches fat bitches Why bad are we... bitches oh bad bitches bad bitches be who you are yes claps right claps. makes me happy i mean i think there's some uh money to be made in some sort of exchange with everyone switching where like you know if you need a penis, take a penis. If you have a penis, give a penis. You know, like... <laughs> that's such a... Man, that's such a banger joke, man. Oh, no. Some exchange. Uh, maybe Bitcoin could be involved. And you could, you know... Oh, my God. It's so bad. He's trying... Oh, God. Bella Thorne is looking less thorny. Hassan, an advice for the future, don't turn into this. What? Fucking uh, Bill Maher? Yeah, no, I don't think I will. Uh, let's talk about my favorite Bill instead, and not Bill Maher. For every one Bill Maher clip, I will always show you a Bill Burr clip. Comedian Bill Burr appeared on The Breakfast Club a few days ago. He was telling a story of how he had to deal with a cock block and dude while he was trying to get with a woman who was now his wife, and Charlemagne made one too many gay references, and Bill had to roast him. So, uh... Hold on, you gotta clear that up. I wanna be clear, but <laughs> you didn't date the guy. Nothing. No. I'm just, I just want to make sure. <laughs> is it the first one? When, when, like, when are black people going to let go of this homophobia? You always got to check. Like, what are you doing? I'm for the story. manicured <laughs> eyebrows. Like, I'm fucking going to sit here and act like you're all good over there. Like, you don't swing a leg over the fence every once in a while. Like, you know, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got fucking sandals on and white socks. You look like you just came from a steam room. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, my my God. Well. Go ahead. No, I just mean, like, like I, I always paid attention to energy because my energy was terrible. Mm -hmm. I was, like, all introverted and blah, 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 blah. So I was fascinated with people that were just free. Mm -hmm. So that's what I meant. Got you, got you. Okay, before people continue and say, Hassan, you only like him because he's bald. No, okay? Yes, some of my faves happen to be bald. This has nothing to do with them being bald. It doesn't matter. Please stop saying that. I'm not fetishizing bald men. It just happens to be that they're funny. Stop saying I'm a bald chaser. I am not a bald chaser. I do not fetishize the bald. Bill Burr isn't bald. He has his hair on the clear setting. Yeah, Bill Burr actually could grow his hair out if he wanted to. Dude, this one is awesome. I, I saw... 
Imagine waking up after being shot and the first thing you see is Steven Seagal pretending to be a doctor. He thanked the doctors for their work and wished the patient's recovery. Dude, what do you mean? He's been a doctor for 35 years. I've been a doctor for 35 years. Dude, if I got shot and I woke up to Steven Seagal staring at me, I'd be like, did I go to heaven? Am I dead? And I'm in heaven now? Because this is how I imagine heaven, heaven would be like. Okay? This is the sickest thing that could ever happen. Where mama at? Where the doctor at? Just kidding. I'm the doctor. The doctor of Punani. Me want the Punani. I've been doing surgery for 35 years. <laughs> Why would heaven have hospitals? Just so Steven Seagal could be a doctor there. Duh. Uh, hello. Asked and answered. What is going on today with these questions? Clearly, for one reason and one reason only. So Steven Seagal could be a fucking doctor there. Duh. Oh, God. We lost a great one to Russia, honestly. Like, Edward Snowden is one thing, but, like, losing Steven Crowder to Russia actually fucking... Or Steven Crowder. Ew. Oh, I can't believe I just said such an awful man's name with the goat. Ay, 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 boo. Oh, my God. Okay, here. We'll play it for a second. Why? Tell me what you really want. All night. Me want the banana 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 me want the banana somewhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, that is a real sexo moment right there. Let's look at the uh, April Fool's, best April Fool's from 2024. Sour Patch Kids, Sour Patch Adults. That's not that great. Mr. Beast jokingly announced that he'll be quitting YouTube. Also, kind of mid. KSI took shots at Jake Paul's fight against 57-year-old Mike Tyson by announcing a fake fight against 75-year-old George Foreman. Eh. Oreo released a statement about separating the wafer from the cream. Fake KFC flavored drink. Okay, these are all awful. Like, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but even Kick being like, oh, Hassan, we announced that Hassan is now, like, with Kick is kind of funnier than all these other ones. Almost because, like, it's just so out there. April Fool's have has fallen off. This is one of the only no, I didn't like that either. Mr. Vermin Chelly once read a book, April Fools. I didn't like that one either. It's kind of cringe. <clears throat> Joy is dead. Um, how come you didn't quote retweet the kick thing? Because I'm fucking worried people are gonna take it seriously, dude. I already tweeted about it. Anyway, I've never been a big April Fool's fan anyway. 